So out of everything on the table when it comes to Capitol Hill, when it comes to the Middle East, when it comes to issues, Senator John McCain just looked at us and said, we got to talk more coyotes. That's what's on his mind. Good morning. It's Doug and Wolf here on Sports 620 KTAR. It's 810 and the senior senator of the state of Arizona joining Doug and Wolf this morning. Good morning, Senator. How are you? Good morning, guys. Does any living American watch the Pro Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> I watched it's the time, last two minutes, it? I think. It is time for the Pro Bowl to go away, I, That's my point. Can well, you make you that know, happen? I, I don't think so, as long as they can get somebody who's idiot and knows <laughs> Uh, so little about sports that they're willing to sponsor it. But what's the point? You don't want to hurt anybody. And I understand that. You you know that far better than I do. Wolf, you're not going to hurt yeah, somebody. Yeah, absolutely. And even worse than that, Senator, right now, uh, as I see it, uh, playing it before the Super Bowl, I know there's a lot of people out there that are enjoying this, saying this is great. There's something there's something re- leading up to the Super Bowl that uh, is, is remotely similar to football being played. And to me, it's not. It's not a game. I mean, you just see it last. And so a bunch of the all pros are not playing because they're That's playing exactly next right. week. That's right. right. You know, but anyway, I guess uh, it's a way of players getting bonuses. If you make the Pro Bowl, you get an extra whatever it is. Yeah, they get a loser me, share and a winner share. You could still do it. All you got to do is have a banquet instead. Have a big banquet. You know about that banquets, don't good. you know, no, <laughs> Senator? <laughs> yeah. As long as they don't have any politicians there. Yeah, that all, it would work. Money. Yeah. Um, yeah. Glad the, to see you guys. Glad to see you. Nice of you to say that. What about you from a more personal standpoint? Because one of the things that drives us, we love our jobs. Wolf and I really yep. love our job. But yep. one of the things that will drive us crazy is when we first meet somebody, they'll say something, well, uh, how about them Diamondbacks? They think like that. Mm. this is all we can handle is mm. a sports conversation in life. What do you like to talk about when you're not talking politics sports okay sports. No, really. <laughs> and uh it, it, like in the pressure of a presidential campaign mm-hmm. come in late at night turn on espn you know rather than the latest bloviating talk show that <laughs> that's uh, rehashing the uh, latest misspeak of the of the candidate which unfortunately <laughs> And sometimes it was a lot of about me, but that it's it's the greatest diversion for me intellectually. Uh, look, I read and study all the time the issues and all that's my job, but the greatest diversion is is sports. Like most a lot of Americans, right. I was a mediocre high school athlete, and that is the most avid sports fan, as you well know. Senator John McCain joining the Doug and Wolf Show here. Just how grueling, Senator? Just how grueling is a presidential campaign? Next to being in prison, it's the most. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Unfortunately, next you know both. To, next to next to being in prison, it's the the pressure and the tension and the, you know, the stakes. I mean, my God, the like, the stakes are incredibly high. Um, and in a way, it's it it is a bit like a uh, like a football game because you're either playing offense or you're playing defense, and obviously you'd rather play offense. Mm-hmm. And every hour in the news cycle, there's something new. And so you're playing offense on that hour or you're playing defense. The news cycle used to be 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Now, in sports, it's a one-hour cycle, right? Breaking news. Tiger Woods is in Mississippi. (laughs) 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 You know, whatever. You know, so it's, it's, but look. Nobody made me do it. Nobody mm-hmm. drafted me. Nobody mm-hmm. forced me to do it. And to think that a guy that stood fifth from the bottom of his class at the Naval Academy would someday be the nominee of the Republican Party is an incredible story. If my old uh, Marine Company officer were here, he'd say anything is possible in America. Absolutely. Six zero two reminds me of Kurt Warner. <laughs> oh, that's a good good segue. 602-230-0620 is the phone number. Coming up in 10 minutes, Senator John McCain will take your phone calls if you have any questions for the senator. 602-230-0620. Again, coming up in 10 minutes. You mentioned it. Uh, what were your thoughts when you found out Friday that Kurt Warner had decided to uh, retire? Mm, regret, gratitude. Uh, look, we, we read Those all are two the great words back to back there. Absolutely. We read all the time about some young athlete, and a lot of it's understandable, gets themselves in some kind of difficulty. The, we see the egos of some of these young athletes who have been recruited since they were in eighth grade, and and here's a guy that's just marvelous. I mean, everything about him is marvelous, and I twittered, uh, you know, thanks for the memories. Yeah. And so, and, and, I, and I think that Leinart can be very good. I really do. He certainly showed that uh, at... Uh, at the University of Southern California, which 
my wife attended, by the way, still an <laughs> unreconstructed Trojan. But, <laughs> uh, so uh, it, it, I think that Liner can do well. I worry more about the line play, I think, wouldn't you, Wolf? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think they've got some issues here, and I think they're going to get those ironed out, though. Matt Liner is a big question mark, but the good thing, and Senator John McCain is joining us here in studio live on the Doug and Wolf Show, but I think the good thing is the fact that, look, when you, whenever you've got a question mark, it could turn into an exclamation point. It could be a good thing, or it could also go the other way and turn into a period. So I think right now, Matt Leinart, it, the sample size just isn't big enough on him, Senator, right now. I don't think, but that's not to say I think he's going to fail, because I don't. Well, I, I don't know how much it affected Kurt's uh, decision to retire, but that beating he took uh, in New Orleans uh, was, you don't, you don't want to subject that. 38 year old person to or any person <laughs> any, any from from anybody to the kind of hits that he took and i'm not <clears throat> trying to put any blame on the offensive line the fact is the team was tired you would be tired after wouldn't you wolf you after, tired. with only six days rest end of the year no doubt about it talking to senator john mccain with doug and wolf this morning a little bit ago you mentioned Speaking of tired, going through a presidential campaign, mm -hmm. and I, I personally need to apologize to you for something that you don't know about. But you went to one of uh, one of the places in the world that uh, not a lot of people go to, and that is Tiffin, Ohio, mm -hmm. which is the hometown of my wife. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately for us all, my mother-in-law got a hold of you. You shook her hand, and then uh, and she said, uh, "My husband fought in Vietnam." You said, "Thank you for your husband's service." She now thinks the two of you are best friends. Ah, that's great because of that that's one wonderful. quick moment. So now every time Heartland she comes, America. every time she comes to visit our house, now she sends you a letter before she goes to ask you out to dinner. I well, want to let you know now, reject the letter every time you get it. Oh, my gosh, the woman drives me crazy. That and the fact that she's okay. She's normal. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. so I just wanted to warn you now, when you get, her, whenever you get that letter, try to avoid it. Well, you tell her thanks, and I'm grateful for her husband's service to the country. As am I. As so, am Senator, I. now the Super Bowl is coming up mm. here. Super Bowl 44, and, of course, the Arizona Cardinals aren't in it. Mm. Uh, we know that uh, that does not mm. bring joy to you <laughs> or me, but... When you look at Super Bowl Forty Four, who do you like in this game? Uh, well, if I I have to go along with the conventional wisdom on this, I, I think that Peyton Manning is probably one of the transcendent players of our time. And great work, and, you know. And uh, when you know, I, I when we when I see when I'm for the other team that's playing Indianapolis. And the way that that guy drives him nuts, he just drives him crazy, Unbelievable. That running back and forth the line, and he's always down there with two seconds left. How is it as a defensive lineman, up, down, up, tense up, up, down? I mean, you, and then when you can finally get in there, you want to smack him as hard as you can, so you get a 15-yard penalty. <laughs> but the know? ball is out of there so quickly, you typically yeah, don't have a chance. He's amazing. I, I just think he's amazing. I, I admire the Saints. I admire the job they did on us, but I, I just think that Peyton Manning may be uh, uh, what Monk Nut mentioned. His name, I think, will be mentioned along with some of the other. I think he's the really. best to ever play the game, Senator. Yeah. I do, at that position. I think yeah. he's the best to ever do it. I, I can't argue with you because uh, here you got a rookie coach and a team like that. And that, uh, and I don't think that uh, – you wonder about Freeney's uh, injury because he really is one of the dominant players. But uh, – I don't know. It, now, did you that's just why know they play about the that? game. Did you just know about that, Senator, by yourself? I mean, Dwight Franey, boom. You don't have AIDS telling you? <laughs> hey, His about... AIDS sitting right here. She hasn't said a word the whole time. Wolf, what do you talk mean? Talk about Dwight Franey's ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Senator, that's impressive. Well, but, you know, I just pay attention. Man doesn't look at a cable. You know, you, 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 you pay attention because of the... Of the you're of, the, of the interest in, in sports. And by the way, I thought the Suns, you know, the perils of Pauline. God, did you watch the game last night? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I thought, yeah, they got a 12-point lead. That doesn't mean anything anymore. 15-point <laughs> lead, that, that doesn't mean anything. It does, it does to other teams, just not the Suns. But the, the guy that surprises me is uh, Robin Lopez. He is really playing excellent at basketball. Well He's said. In there. He is in there filling a real gap. Uh, I, I'm really impressed with his play, and I never expected. I, I saw him, he and his brother, they played, I think, at Stanford. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Twin and, Towers. Yeah, and uh, now, I didn't think he now, would be that good. 
I was against the draft pick of Robin Lopez. So did the Suns or your aide come in and say, give Doug <laughs> crap did, about did, Robin Lopez playing well? It's great. <laughs> I didn't know that. Amari finally, Amari finally really gave it an effort last night. That was nice to see that, too. Hello, Amari. Keep it up. <laughs> you know, Because <laughs> we're I'm sure the state is concerned because uh, how do you feel about the potential of losing Amari as a, as a taxpaying contributor to the state of Arizona? Because the rumors are starting to fly around like crazy. Yeah, you know, I don't know make of it. All of it is bottom line is money you know we yeah. love sports we love the athletes and you get at the end of the day it's it's the money and uh you know i like him i think he's done great things here and he's a wonderful player and he's been through such tough times you know with his eye and but uh you know, I, I don't know what they do uh, steve nash continues to astound me i think he's going to play till till he's 40. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. We thought about that about a, a local quarterback, though, too. 602 230 0620. Coming up, you've got the opportunity to ask Senator John McCain your question. And my question to the senator up next how does the senator watch the Super Bowl? What's he doing for Super Bowl Sunday? That's next on Sports 620 KTAR. Right now, Senator John McCain live here in studio this morning. And, uh, and Senator, what are you doing Sunday? What's what's uh, are you here in town? Or do you stay at home? Is there a place? You, uh, is there yes. your favorite sports bar in town? Yesterday, I went to a father daughter brunch with my daughter Bridget, and to, uh, today I'm flying over to L.A. where my wife Cindy is being honored by the University of Southern California uh, for her outstanding graduate work, and then I'm taking the red eye back to uh, uh, City of Satan, where it's hard to do the Lord's work. <laughs> and, uh, and so, no, but, but I, I watch a lot of sports. Yes, I, I watched uh, U of A play a great game against Cal. Yeah, yeah. that was that was a very great. Uh, again, you know it's 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 great. We U of A and ASU are both uh, playing very well in basketball in a lousy conference. We all know it's <laughs> yeah. Pac-10's we all know down. how terrible the conference is, but they're I, I think they're playing well. We had a good Arizona had a good day yesterday. The, the Coyotes won. U of mm-hmm. U of A won. Um, ASU Suns, won Saturday. Suns, Suns, Suns won. won. Yeah, a, so it uh, wasn't all bad. Uh, so, but I I do spend a lot of time mm-hmm. watching sports. I I freely admit it. I would like to sit in front of a H HD screen in my house, <laughs> and I don't know if you're the same way, and I sh- probably shouldn't say this, but I'm invited all the time to go to these sporting events, mm-hmm. and I would like to go if I want a social occasion. But if you really want to watch the game, yeah. you know, you really got to sit there and have your attention not diverted. So and on I, Sunday, like are you watching be... it in D.C. at home? And oh, yeah. You're, oh, you're... yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if no it... sports bars for John McCain. You can't get out. The problem is again, and I this, again, I'm, again, I probably shouldn't say it. I th- people are very polite and people are very nice, but they want to talk rather than watch, watch the game. Watch, with you. watch the yeah. game, and I'd rather, I'd rather watch the game. And frankly, I like to hear the analysis too. Yeah. And when I'm driving, I like to hear the analysis <laughs> of so uh, of the Cardinals. Would it, I don't know who that might come from. <laughs> <laughs> so, Senator, would it be safe? Dave to say is the Dave Senator. There you go. <laughs> you like to hunker down for the oh, Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. hunker oh, down. Oh, and yeah, not, yeah. not get caught up in the regalia. Not have and... any, not have any diversions. See, really. Boy, yeah. I can empathize with that. And, and and again, I appreciate the fact that everybody's very nice. I went to a Cardinals game this year, and it was very, very nice. Mm-hmm. Everybody was very, very nice. But I didn't see much of the game. Yeah, and I, I, I don't. I hope no one would take that in the wrong fashion. I'm very grateful that everybody says hi and how you doing, and occasionally <laughs> uh, a single finger, it. occasionally a single finger wave, uh, like uh, <laughs> like Ryan, I guess. Rex Ryan, <laughs> yeah, 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 you guys. Oh, six zero two two three zero zero six twenty. Hopefully, you're not doing that to the senator when you call. Edward, good morning. It's your opportunity to talk to Senator John McCain. Good morning, Edward. Good morning, uh, Senator McCain. What is your uh, opinion about the steroid era and some of the record-breaking hits that were made in baseball? You know, I know, I know we've talked a lot about it. In fact, I've talked with uh, Wolf and Doug about it in the past. Um, I, 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 I'm not uh, and don't think that we should be have any legislative or congressional interference with the issue. We tried back when it was really a big uh, issue. <clears throat> and I, we had hearings and all that kind of stuff, but I would at, li- at least like to see an asterisk now next to some of these people's names. <clears throat> and again, uh, everybody forgives. We all forgive. 
we are all a forgiving and Judeo-Christian motivated uh, nation and people. But what about those people, those athletes that didn't take steroids? What about those that that played the game fairly and didn't make the records? What about them? Don't they? Don't we owe them something here? And and of course the people that made the records uh, before them that were, did not have an enhancing substance in their bodies. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not. I have always felt exactly the same way as you do in the sense of I want to defend. If we don't do this, what about the guy who's the 26th man on the roster? I mean, he doesn't make the major league club, and he's in the minor leagues, and he fought it. He decided not to do it while somebody else does. The problem is... We, you can't really take records away because what about the pitcher that gave it up? What if a steroid-laden pitcher gave up the home run to Barry Bonds and now we're trying to take Bonds' home run away? You, you can't hard. win almost. I, but the, the serious and most alarming aspect of this is I've been told by experts that in laboratories around the world today, there are people at work. Sure. Oh, there are people at work developing substances that cannot be to de- detected. And believe me that this is going to be a battle that they'll try to stay one step ahead of us and we'll catch up and it's going to go on for a long, long time. And that's why WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency, and USADA and these other agencies have to be funded. Let's go to Randy. Randy, good morning. You're on Sports 620 KTAR with Senator John McCain. Hi, Randy. Uh, Good morning, Senator. How are you? Fine, Randy. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Uh, I got a two-part question. The first one is... What do you think of uh, Kurt Warner's aspirations politically, and and how do you think he would fare in that uh, arena? And the second part would be, how do you feel uh, about Liner stepping in and filling uh, Warner's shoes? Thank you very much, Randy. Uh, first of all, I sure hope that uh, Kurt doesn't decide to run for the Senate soon. <laughs> I also hope he's not trying to be an analyst for the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Both of you are nervous about job security there. Uh, we, we mentioned uh, uh, Matt uh, Leinart earlier. I, th- I think he's got every potential. I saw him play too often uh, at USC. Admittedly, he had a great offensive line in front of him, and there's questions about the strength of his arm. But I think he's a competitor. I think he's got a great shot at it, and, and I have high hopes for him. I really do. And I, so, But I'm also an optimist. <laughs> yeah. You know, on that note, though, Senator, what do you think What makes a good politician? Mm, drive, ambition, principle, um, desire to serve. Um, I've, a lot of I, uh, recently, I have met a number of Iraq War veterans who have come to me and said, "I want to run for public office," and their reason has been they want to continue to serve. And I think that's the noblest of reasons. Now, other people, there's many people in politics that run for other reasons, but I've run into another generation of young Americans who have fought and been members of the military that want to continue to serve. And I hope that's the reason why some of them are elected. I hope some of them are elected. But it's it's um it's not unlike sports, mm-hmm. Wolf. It's not unlike sports. You've got to really want it, and you really got to work hard, and you got to stay in shape. And I mean that mentally as well as uh, any other way but it's look it's 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 an incredible experience i've had i've had an incredible road in life and uh, i'm the luckiest guy you'll ever have on this program <laughs> as a, as a guy who loves sports and yet is a veteran there's always this thing in broadcasting that is a some people have issues with the ground control, the bomb, and and all the terms about football and sports in general that are associated with war. And for someone who's done both, who was an athlete, who is a veteran, how do you feel when you hear broadcasters talk about relationships between sports and war? About the same way I do when I hear these military guys from privates to generals use the the, the particularly football terms, you know, mm-hmm. we're down in the two minute, you know, we're in the red <laughs> fourth zone, and you one, and... yeah, you know, because there's such close ties, yeah. Because, and I'm not saying that that there's anything that approaches being in combat because there's nothing like it, but there are certain aspects of a, uh, particularly a football game that that are not that dissimilar when you look at what people are putting on the line in in many respects, and I don't mean to mm-hmm. compare them in in too many ways but certainly when i when i'm over there in iraq or afghanistan and i try to i try to sit down with uh, and have lunch or breakfast with um, our troops from arizona you know in that particular unit and you know the first thing they talk about 
first first thing what about the cardinals how's the suns doing what mm -hmm. about the coyotes it's amazing. What about, you know that's the first thing they want to talk about that's understandable you know so certainly those 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 uh, um, words and phrases would creep into uh, into our combat, and our combat would creep into our sports. I have no problem with it. Now, could I mention again what we were talking earlier? The Coyotes are playing. <laughs> the Coyotes are playing well. They're we doing the don't impossible. want them to leave this valley. They had a great crowd take Saturday night. Yeah, take a chance and go out there and watch them play. They are really playing. This guy Tippett has really turned this. Uh, I yes. love Wayne Gretzky. Don't get me wrong, but. This coach uh, is um, He's the real deal. He is the real deal. He's got these people playing together, and it is exciting. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Bad news for them, though. They lost Scotty Upshaw to uh, yeah, a torn ACL. ACL. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that. He beat me to Scotty <laughs> Upshaw. He knows more about the Coyotes than you do, <laughs> Senator. Senator's got more prep going on than I do for this show. <laughs> now, now, Senator, on a personal note, I, I, I want to ask you this. Uh, situational awareness. Yeah. Situational awareness. You know all about that, mm -hmm. don't you? As a mm -hmm. fighter pilot, a former fighter pilot, situational awareness is such a, it's such a critical element. When you walk around in your daily in your daily life, mm -hmm. is that something you can't shake? Mm, Are you constantly evaluating no. and processing the information? Whether or not you're a threat assessment right no. now? No, 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 not me, <laughs> no, but just no. your entire situation. When you plan a political campaign, you've got to have a strategy. When you're supporting an issue with, like, for example, this, uh, this issue of incarceration of terrorists in trials in the United States, then you sit down with your friends and, and colleagues say, okay, here's our strategy. We're going to do A, B, C, D, and E, and we're going to end up hopefully, you know, it's a, you, you just plan the strategy if, uh, to, to succeed in whatever particular goal you have. In a political campaign, it's the same way. You start on election day and you count back, just like the Cardinals count on start on next Sunday and count back uh, what they're going to do. So there are those kinds of comparisons. But in my everyday life, listen, then the greatest thing, I don't have Secret Service. I'm so happy and they're wonderful people, but they do come between you right. and people. And when I walk to the airport and people wave, say hi, come over, take a picture, you know, it's wonderful. They say, I'm sorry to bother you. You're not bothering me. It's, I'm very flattered. <laughs> and it won't be too long before nobody even knows my name. <laughs> Things there are very transient in life. You know, my hero, my hero, Barry Goldwater. My hero is Barry Goldwater. A lot of people don't remember who Barry Goldwater was. He was a wonderful, magnificent uh, leader. So it all passes. And just like it does in football, you know, we we have a tendency to, to forget. So enjoy the moment. That's the key to it. Enjoy the moment. We did. We did enjoy the moment with you. Thanks for coming well, to the studio thanks, guys. today. Thanks for having me on. It's my pleasure, and uh, look forward to coming back. Thank Love you. Love to Thank have you. Thank you so much, Senator. That's Senator John McCain joining Doug and Wolf here in studio on Sports 620 KTAR.